Hi everybody, Mike here, also known as Wolfield Diver. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at some filters for the Phantom 4 Pro drone. We'll look at some UV filters. We'll look at some polarizing filters, a, uh, a graduated neutral density filter, and a couple of ND4 filters and compare those. Later on you will see video comparing all of these filters taken from the drone outside. Our benchmark for this is the stock GoPro clear filter. As we all know, this is an adequate filter, but it's not the greatest. Uh, I highly recommend you get rid of this filter and put on something of higher quality. This filter is good for its weight and balance, but its construction is lacking. Uh, it's very easy to knock the glass out of it if you try to clean it. It also appears that there's very little, if any, anti-glare reflection coating on the glass as well. The first one is the Polar Pro UV filter. It's a very nice filter. It's well made. It's made out of good quality glass. It's also uh, anti-reflective coating on both sides and it appears to be well made. It's uh, slightly heavier than the stock GoPro filter, but not much. It's pretty well balanced and it uh, has about the same weight and balance uh, as the stock filter. Our next filter is the Freewell graduated neutral density filter. It has a rotating piece of glass. Density of the filter varies from the center where it lets all the light through to the one side where it blocks some of the light. You put this on your camera then you have to rotate it so that the dark part is near the top. Concerns of this filter is the graduation is not adequate to cover the lens of the drone. It's as if it's too high. You'll see from the sample video what I mean. This is a very heavy filter and hangs down the gimbal when it's not powered up. The next video is a Sandmark polarizing filter made out of glass. It appears to be anti-reflective coating on both sides and you have to uh, spin the outer dial to adjust the polarizing effect. The stock GoPro gimbal lock will no longer fit. The plastic in the front of this has to be cut away and removed. Our next filter is the Freewell ND4. It's a very nice filter. It's very comparable in size and shape to the stock GoPro filter. Almost about the same weight, it's just higher quality construction. Made out of glass, it appears that both sides of the glass is anti-reflective coating. Its weight and balance on the camera is very comparable to the stock GoPro filter. And also we'll take a look at the Polar Pro ND4 filter as well. It's a high quality filter, good quality glass, has nice anti-reflective coating on both sides of the glass. It's well made also. Slightly heavier than the Freewell ND4, but still not bad at all. This is a good filter. On the left is the Freewell ND4. On the right is the Polar Pro ND4. They're supposed to have the same light blocking, but as you can tell, they have different densities. So let's take a look at all these filters in the air on the drone. You'll have to probably go back and replay some of these and freeze the frame to take a closer look. None of this video has been adjusted. I've kept the contrast low in the drone. The color has not been enhanced. The contrast has not been enhanced, nor has the sharpness. I tried keeping the f-stop the same as much as possible. I pretty much tried to keep it the same so you can see the differences between some of these filters. Notice the difference between the Polar Pro ND4 and the Freewheel ND4 in the exposure. When I got to the UV filter and the graduated neutral density filter, I had to uh, drop the ISO and change the f-stop slightly. You can tell by looking at the slate what those are. These shots here, I'm focusing at the trees. And of these, I'm focusing on the targets on the ground. It's obvious there's a slight exposure difference between the Freewell ND4 and the Polar Pro ND4. In these shots, I'm looking towards the east, northeast. 
The sun is to my right, towards the south. The free well graduated neutral density filter did not have much effect. It, in my opinion, did not darken the sky enough. That's because the lens is not being adequately covered by the, uh, the dark part of the filter. These shots I'm looking south, almost into the sun. The sky was hazy. This gives you an idea of what it looks like looking into the direction of the light. I'll let you make up your own choice which one you like best. This Freewell filter is almost worthless. The Polar Pro UV filter does a very good job of darkening the sky and knocking out the haze. I'm quite pleased with this. It's also extremely sharp. It's probably the best looking one of all of them as far as sharpness and contrast. The Sandmark polarizing filter does a good job of also separating the clouds from the sky. However, when I look closely at my video, I've noticed it softens the image slightly. Part of the tree is zoomed in four times to show you the sharpness. It's obvious that the Sandmark polarizing is the softest of all of them, and it appears the UV is the sharpest. Indeed, not a very scientific test, but from my experience, these are my three go-to filters now. The Polar Pro UV filter, the Polar Pro 4, and the Freewell ND4. The Polar Pro UV filter has the sharpest image, lets in the most amount of light, and does a great job of clearing the sky and making it look better. The Polar Pro ND4 and the Freewell ND4 are both good high quality filters, just slight difference in light transmission, and what I'll do is pick and choose depending on the situation. In my opinion, the Sandmark polarizing has the worst image sharpness of all of the filters compared here and only use it in rare instances. And of course the stock GoPro filter and the Freewell graduated neutral density filters are pretty much worthless. The Freewell graduated neutral density filter is a great idea but the implementation is wrong. They didn't get enough uh, gradation across the lens of the camera. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my test. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw please subscribe.